Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rosette with Build Box. Thank you so much for watching this series. This is part five of the How to Make a Simple Driving Game with Build Box video series. This is the bonus part of the series. So this is going to be an alternate driving controls lesson on how to get some different driving controls for a path movement type game. This tutorial is completely optional, but if you want to watch it, go ahead. I think it's useful. And thank you so much again for watching this series. As a bonus, I'm going to show you one additional uh, vehicle control option. So I'm going to double click here in the main vehicle. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I have a, these are special movement controls that I, I, I taught you to set up specifically so that it works like this. Um, what I want to do is I want to group these up here. And I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say group nodes. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this um, swerving, I guess, swerve controls. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And then you can group them and then you can, heck, you can change the color, which is kind of cute. Um, I like it. I like, I'm going to go with cherry. Um, uh, but anyway, so you can save these and like hook this up later. Uh, just all you got to do is created, you know, enabled, enabled, but I want to show you one more really cool, um, uh, uh control method that I think would be useful for you. So, um, let's go to, um, let's go to set scene speed you want to add in a set scene speed node and then you want to add in a um touch path node yeah exactly okay so this is what you do you hook up the touch path node okay i'll go ahead and move this over here hook up the touch path node change the height over path to zero change the sensitivity in the y to zero change uh i think you can leave that is fine um the y range is okay you can just leave that and if you want to add jumping you can later and then what this does um you'll you'll see here what this does is this allows me to move the vehicle left and right okay and then what the set speed set scene speed does is it teaches it actually gets the the me the vehicle moving and, you, and then you can move along the path and control it side to side. And then maybe you could put like other cars, like other enemy cars in the way as obstacles, you know, so that you have to drag and avoid the obstacles and then you can collect points. So that's like another another gameplay style that you could create. And then also, I just want to I just want to show you. So you see how when I'm moving, dragging left and right, boom, 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 boom. It's like really, really shifting the gameplay left and right. So we want to change the uh, camera over here to change the position follow from character to game path. And what this will do is this will allow us to still follow the character down the game path and we can move the character side to side, but it's not going to shift the camera side to side, to side and make the player, you know, get nauseated. So this is a much, much better feel for the game. And so this is an alternative uh, gameplay controls for a path movement type game. You want to put enemies on this path probably and you want to try to avoid enemies um, or else there's not really much of a challenge here. Um, I'll go ahead and exit out of this and I'll change the position follow back to character and then we'll go back over here to our main vehicle. And I'm going to create a another little grouping here for you. So group nodes and we'll call this the um, oh what would we call this? Drag left and right controls, uh, no swerve, I guess, no, uh, no swerve, no swerve. And then I'll just go ahead and disconnect these. So, uh, and then we can, uh, we can, let's make this a little bit bigger so that you can see, let's see, or the, the, the names aren't gonna get any bigger. Let's just leave it like this and then let's call this um, let's do aqua. Yeah. Okay, sweet. And then you just want to hook this one back up. And then later, if you want to change it, you can that like this way, you know about these controls. Um, but let's go back to our original game and let's hook these up here. Okay. It should be working. Why isn't it? Let's see here. What if I got rid of the touch path and the set scene speed? Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, I guess those don't um those don't agree with each other. Having those nodes in there just doesn't agree with having these nodes in here. So I wanted to show I, I at least I showed you how to do it, but um I won't be able to include them in here and and still make it work. I'm sorry. Um and then yeah, the last thing I guess the last thing I just noticed real fast is I would um I would take this the beginning of this uh scene here. 
I would stretch out the defeat zone backwards and then I would take the beginning of the start scene and I would shift it back here as well so that it looks when your game first starts it's like you know you don't see the cut off of the road okay everybody that 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 finishes off this tutorial this is what we ended up with um i taught you a few things i hope you uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll share this bb doc um in a download link uh in the description below and uh, yeah please if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this please uh like this video and subscribe to our build box youtube channel all right thank you boxers